Good morning to everybody. Uh, my name is Francisco Luquero. I am uh, a medical doctor epidemiologist working at Epicentre, that is the research branch of MSF, and uh, I am chairing the EPI working group, that uh, is uh, the other component of the surveillance working group. So we are working very uh, closely together with uh, with the lab colleagues, and uh, as Marilor just mentioned, we have had the last meetings uh, together, uh, looking both at the lab uh, aspects and the EPI aspects of the uh, cholera surveillance. So I just I, I just going to go briefly about uh, what was discussed in the last working group meeting that took place in mid-April, and uh, um, for us it's very important uh, to keep in mind that we are trying to. Uh, uh, provide support to countries to uh, um, uh, achieve the two main goals of the roadmap, that is the early identification of outbreaks, and as well to provide uh, epidemiological background uh, to implement multisectorial interventions in highly endemic areas. As Marilor has mentioned already, we have published an interim guidance that is uh, online, that is trying to provide uh, um, a common framework to establish cholera surveillance bo for both objectives, the early identification of outbreaks, as well as uh, evaluations uh, uh, at country level to put in place the multi-sectoral interventions. Um, as you have seen, probably there is a new version of the Yellow Book uh, that has been revised. It's not yellow uh, anymore, but uh, uh, <laughs> in the, only in the back. Uh, but uh, uh, there has been uh, um, intensively uh, revised and uh, uh, a lot of the sections, uh, including those that uh, uh, relate to surveillance, has been, has been uh, revised. Now it's, it's published online and, and you have a, a new version. Uh, there has, the, the, the revision has included contribution for many of the other working groups, including the case management and obviously uh, the vaccine working group as well. Uh, however, there is some sections that we think that require uh, revision still, so we think that this will be a living document. And uh, uh, a good part of the last meeting discussion was uh, around the role of the uh, outbreak investigation teams versus the rapid response teams, that are teams that try to implement interventions uh, centered around cases. So we are going to work in a new uh, technical note to distinguish both uh, the role of the outbreak investi investigation teams and the rapid response teams. However, the big chunk of the discussion in the last uh, uh, working group meeting was around uh, how to conduct situational analysis about cholera at country level to inform the national cholera control plans. Uh, tomorrow, there will be a session specifically on the national cholera control plans, and we will describe some of the concepts uh, that were um, uh, discussed in the last working group meeting. But this will be uh, obviously a critical uh, component of uh, the development of the national or the review of the national cholera control plans. Uh, and uh, uh, just uh, to anticipate a little bit some of the aspects that will be presented tomorrow, uh, a good, uh, a very important part of the uh, situational analysis will be the identification of uh, the cholera burden hotspots. And this is important because this concept of cholera burden hotspot is at the key, is a key component of the uh, new cholera roadmap. And uh, uh, these are the areas that are recommended to be targeted with these multi-sectoral interventions. So just to uh, provide a few uh, uh, notes about that are important in this, uh, um, in this sense is that the hotspots are not the only areas at risk in countries, uh, but are those that has experienced co cholera uh, in the past in a persistent manner. And there is other areas with uh, limited uh, transmission of cholera or no transmission, but they still have conditions uh, uh, that can uh, be conducted for uh, cholera spread. And this is why uh, it's important to consider other contextual factors or uh, other indicators, like wa wash indicators, to complete the uh, situ situational analysis. Another important concept that we we'll discuss is that uh, this risk assessment is a dynamic process. We will uh, recommend to establish baseline analysis that will follow uh, uh, with regular updates that will allow uh, to keep progress as well on the uh, uh, roadmap. Something that I want to mention for uh, this discussion that took place uh, in, in last month of April is that uh, it was a pleasure to see that was really country-driven and that was thanks to the experience uh, brought by countries, including colleagues from Haiti, from Nigeria, from Zambia, from Yemen, from uh, uh, many of the countries that has been really working on, on, the, on this type of analysis. 
uh, that allow to, uh, to develop these, uh, these concepts. And we are really uh, sure that we will have a very uh, 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 solid guidelines about how to, how to conduct this um, situation analysis. Uh, the working group as well uh, is very synergistic and have uh, contributions from many academic institutions. And as Dominique mentioned already uh, before, uh, we are trying as well to uh, improve our way to uh, measure cholera incidents. And we think that it will, it will be very important to take into account the lab data, especially uh, the results from rapid diagnostic tests or culture rap or, or PCR results, to provide more accurate uh, estimates of the true cholera incidents. There are as well other groups uh, that presented in the last meeting uh, developments of how to use zero surveillance to improve our estimates of uh, recent cholera incidents. And uh, uh, there are other groups, uh, uh, the academic groups, that are trying to use mathematical models to um, forecast the evolution of outbreaks. Last but not least, as uh, Marilor has mentioned, we are trying as well to combine epi and molecular data to inform uh, the global circulation of uh, cholera strains. So in terms of priorities, uh, as I mentioned, there is two documents that we want to finalize this year and that will be uh, instrumental for countries. The first one is about uh, the role and responsibilities of the outbreak investigation teams and the rapid response teams. And the second one that will be critical for the implementation of the multisectorial interventions is the finalization of a guideline on how to conduct the situational analysis, including the hotspot identification and uh, the development of a simple tool support to support this analysis. Then uh, the, the, there was an intense discussion as well about the concept of cholera elimination, and we are going to start drafting a proposal on how to certify elimination at country level. And the other two uh, uh, aspects that we want to develop this year um, is to advance in the creation of a global repository of cholera data to allow uh, forecasting and analysis of outbreaks in real time, and last, uh, a review of the uh, research agenda for the EPI working group. Thank you.